makes it different or better than uh oh you, you want to know the comparisons well this is not really an, a normal mmo even though it kind of feels that way with the leveling process and you know all the things that you do to progress your characters and stuff this is very different like this uh this game is basically the whole combat is based off of element types so your your whole build circles around the four characters that you build together so let's say for example this is an electric girl right here this one's fire uh she's water you know it's like it's it's almost like playing avatar the game so having these elements work together is what makes the the attacks work better on the enemies so like let's say turn to barbara wet the enemy and you'll see like a wet symbol on their head then from there burn their asses and you vaporize them you know like it, it does like extra damage for that and then uh you'll have element monsters that are like let's say like a fire monster you can't use the fire people that you have because they do pretty much no damage sometimes it'll just say immune so you can't even attack them at all with those characters so it basically turns these characters useless and then you only have let's say barbara and the electric person so that's why it's good to diversify your team to to work that way so that that's what makes this game special it makes this game a little bit more engaging with you know the characters that you build and all that when it comes to the actual world and the story and all that shit, it's it's a lot like what you would see in breath of the wild so it's a lot of exploration and trying to find um treasure chests and and you know it's just like it, it gives you this big sandbox world to kind of just explore and find things and fish and mine stuff and it's just it's really nice it's really satisfying the way they set that all up the story is really strong and they're really well written so it's not like a typical asian game where they have poor translations that are really fucking horrible in this game they actually tried they actually hired a good amount of like people to translate and and make the stories more like you know westernized or whatever so it's it's really it's really well done like the story is really good this this is one of the few games that I could I could say that I, I did a storyline and it made me almost cry like multiple times like not even just once like the Venti storyline was really good that almost made me cry and then like there was <laughs> and then there was the the leeway one the one um well I don't want to go into like deep spoilers or anything but there was a, a leeway harbor like big boss fight and stuff that happened and that was really emotional too for me like like i saw it and i was like oh man this is cool man it was it's like this the story is really well done in this game I, I really like it a lot so um that's that's like one of the major gripping points of this game you know compared to new world and final fantasy 14 i don't really know about final fantasy 14 story but new world story was horrible so basically you could just write that one off completely another thing i forgot to mention is the soundtrack they went all out with the music in this game it's unbelievable easily one of the best soundtracks in all of gaming because they really poured a lot of heart and soul into this with the orchestras and just in general like you could be just walking around a regular part of a zone and you'll start to like remember some of the jingles in there it, it reminds me a lot of like the really old school games like zelda ocarina of time and like some of the the mario games in the past and you know 007 golden eye the pause menu how i used to uh, that shit was just a huge banger and those are the type of things that you would hear in genshin that that would just make you go like wow i just want to sit here and just listen to the music the biggest thing that holds this game back is the resin system which i've mentioned 700 million times already the resin system is the thing that's basically like a stamina system uh, kind of like what they use in like uh, mobile games which this game is also a mobile game you can play it on your cell phone which i do all the time and that's the coolest thing about this game is that like you know if i'm get tired of playing on my pc i could go and like just lay in bed and play on my, my cell phone it's pretty badass so um it's cool to have that option but they went too much in the side of mobile and um, they added this stamina system that required, like, it's required for you to level up the characters, to advance them, to get new gear, and all that shit. Everything is tied to the resin system. So it just, it, it kind of ruins things, man. It makes, it makes it really miserable when you start getting into late, late game. In the beginning, when you first start playing, it's not a big deal, but then it starts getting worse and worse as, it, as you progress. Especially the more characters you collect, the worse it gets. 
So, like, this should have scaled. Like, the resin system should have scaled in some way I to make it a, um, work with every character that you have. I, I feel like uh, every time a character is, is earned, it should up the rate on which uh, resin is, like, acquired or something. Or maybe even, like, if they had, like, extra ways to obtain resin. Let's say, like, I don't know, kill mobs or something or do some side quests and then the side quest gives you resin. Almost like they did in um, Black Desert Online, because Black Desert Online had that. Where you could, uh, little side quests and stuff, and then they'll give you, like, energy every time you beat the quest. Like, that's cool. Like, at least they gave you a chance to get their version of resin back. But in this game, they don't. You just have to wait till the next day, basically, until you can do it, do it some more. So, that's the sad part. Yeah, the story's really good. I, I definitely recommend this game for the story. It's really, really good. It's like masterpiece level story. It's really nice. Like, the only thing that keeps me from giving this game a 5 out of 5 is the resin system. Because this is a really great game. I give Genshin Impact a 4 out of 5. That could easily go to a 5 out of 5 if they would get rid of the resin system or make it a hell of a lot more lenient than it currently is.